Howdy folks, welcome to the Three Sapiens Roadshow. Your host, Dan Davis here. It's a little bit after 11 on Friday, October 25th, I think. Yeah, um, okay, so Bigfoot's presence in camp is becoming more and more obvious. And it's funny, it's like, they must have a spy on me, because after I point out certain things, it's like, those trails don't get used as much. Generally speaking, um, there are some exceptions where they can't get away with it, though. But, like, things through the foliage here, they're getting more and more opened up. Like here. And then, this one takes the cake. This whole area here, now looks like it's been cleared out. This is as far as I go, okay? When I put stuff away here, this is as far as I go. So, all this flattened area right here, that's Mr. Bigfoot. You can see my old print, I think that's the print. But all this stuff down here on the edge, and all that right there where it's getting pulverized, I haven't been back there for a week or whatever since I put this tarp up, and I didn't spend that much time here. So all that's Mr. Bigfoot. But the thing that really takes the cake this morning, and I haven't even touched it yet because I wanted to get this on camera when I did it. So here's my bee bowl, okay, my bee feet or whatever. So here's the bees like, where's our water, man? Where's our water, dude? Okay, so this is how I found this this morning. It's normally sitting up on the rock. Now, either it got bumped off accidentally, which I doubt, or it got placed there by Mr. Bigfoot as a message. It's like, yo, dude, this is glass. This is the stuff that you've been picking up off the slopes, like five pounds or whatever. Um, if this accidentally falls, this could break, and that's bad for our feet. Um, <laughs> so now let's pick this up and see if it was accidental. It should have broken, but it didn't, and all the water's gone from it. All the water. Huh. That would not have happened, because this happened in the last 24 hours, so there should have been some water in here. Oh, there's a little bit of water. But it's like, all the water's been drained out of here. Except for what would have been, some of that water would have been absorbed by the rocks, actually. Believe it or not. But anyway, so I get the point. Alright, so Mr. Bigfoot. And just in case there's any doubt as to the culprit. So, I was looking at this, and I'm backing off, and I'm looking at prints and stuff. Because he still hasn't come down here yet. Let me put my glasses on just to double check here. I don't think I've done that yet this morning. Um, I don't see any prints down here because he's not stupid. He only goes where it's not so obvious, like there, okay? And you can actually see the trail of biggish prints. And it's like, this light is not so good as it was this morning for this, but okay, so here's one right here, like this. And it's like step, and then step, and then step, and it's right up the slope, and you can see it go. But um, this one with the machete, I think he, the light is good enough. Just past it, you could see from there all the way to there. That's one continuous flattened area. And another one is this rock right here where you could see the crust of that rock is got white on it. It's white, which this could be the heel and um, the arch of the foot along in there and then the toes in there. Over here, I thought this was a Bigfoot path going up, but this seems to be just the deer, because they only go up to about there, and then they come back. This one, this particular one deer. The Bigfoot, see, here's here's the... So they go up like that, and then they come back, and they go that way. So Mr. Bigfoot stays over here at the perimeter, periphery. <coughs> I mentioned that, that big um, footstep the other day. It's still showing. But this is getting more and more pounded. That rock where I showed that sap, that has not been used again. So it's like they were watching me. And when they when I show stuff too too close, it's like, ah, uh, that guy just figured something out. So they don't use that anymore. It's kind of funny. But he's running out of places to use because I'm finding all these signs all over the place. And last night, yesterday, towards sunset, after dark a little bit for about an hour or so I played guitar 
I'm saying, and this whole hillside over there behind those trees, behind those trees, up there, and then over here. Every time there was a pause, and not so much at the end of the song because they know when the song ends and then they stop and they're quiet. But if there was ever a sudden pause, like Guns N' Roses Patience, there's, you know, there's a pause in it. Almost every single time I could hear noise. I could hear noise from somebody like walking, trying to get a good position to sit and watch or whatever. Um, so it's like this whole hillside was just crawling with sound last night. So, um, it's just, it just does not surprise me. This thing with the, with the bee thing, the bee feeder, this does not, um, this does not surprise me at all that they're getting to this point now. But yes, just yesterday I was picking up some glass, and I think they probably saw that. And um, said, yo, dude, Mr. Hypocrite. <laughs> so, um, lesson learned. So, there you go, Mr. Bigfoot. I want to put plastic. I'm going to cut one of these milk jugs. And I'll use the bottom. Like that one right there, I'll cut that one. And use the bottom of that as uh, a beef. Beef. <laughs> bee feeder. Bee bath, whatever you call them. Anyway, um... And, oh, yeah, of course, the other trail to keep track of, you know, you know what, just so Mr. Bigfoot doesn't nag me again about this, let me put it up where it looks like it's going to have something done with it, <laughs> like there. Okay, um, so the one other trail, let's go check this out. I haven't checked it out uh, very carefully yet this morning. But you can just see a path materializing right here, okay? I don't go up there. Ever. Well, not enough to cost. And when I do now, I use the periphery, as I showed the last time. See, these are my footprints right here, probably. And it just goes, you can just see the footsteps of leaves. Boom, 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 boom. Right up, right up through the leaf, through the uh, bushes. So, the trails are just getting more and more. Is that you, Mr. B? Heard something up there. Squirrels are gone. Chickory, whatever that is, chickadee. Chipmunk. Alvin! Is that you? No. Um they're all gone. There was one squawking a little while ago over there. He's quiet now. But this slope is now I hardly ever see the squirrels anymore. So that's another indicator, but um, these trails, again, with this light and this camera, and I don't know, uh, but when you when you hear day after day like I am, it just you just see these paths materializing, and I don't use them; it's not me. Um, so unless there's a lot of people up here trying to hoax me, going over these paths day by day, uh, Mr. B is getting more comfortable with visiting my campsite. And he hasn't disturbed me in my sleep. I've managed to sleep. I, when I go to sleep, well, that's it. It doesn't take me too long to go to sleep. Um, I'm usually tired, so that helps. And uh, I, sometimes I wake up a couple times at night, but I usually am gonna have to don't even use have to go use the restroom or anything because um, I'm careful about how I eat and whatever at night and drink. Squirrel going off over there right now too. I bet you there's some going up that ridge. By the way, this ridge here, if it continued down, it would end up right back where I was yesterday, where I found those rock overhangs and whatnot. So, um, with the burn and whatnot, I'm sure that's kind of wiped out that neighborhood down that way a bit. But um, I think there's still some traffic on the slope going all the way up. Oh, there was a squirrel. Brave little dude. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to be going up, way up, high point. Should be able to show you some good stuff. But um, I just wanted that, that B, that B thing. If that was accidental, it would have broken. I think it was placed there just to show me that if it was an accident, it could have broken glass, 
Hello, you were just picking up glass yesterday. Do you want more glass? You have more on human? I got it. Thank you. Anyway, Dan Davis signing off. A little bit smarter.